Unless you're a good person who's listening on the audio as well. Hi. In which case, this Hi. is a special message for you. Hi. Hello, Hello. there. You're listening Hi. to wow. B-O-O-M, yeah. All Access yeah. Evil Ham. Welcome to Radio Boom. <laughs> Up next, it's an hour of Amy analysis. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, we've got drive time. And DJ Tails is about to spin some tunes for you as you <laughs> go home for the evening after a long, hard day at work. <laughs> Up now, it's the tune of the Sonic Boom 5. Minus 2. Hi. Plus 6. <clears throat> Divided by pi. Evil <laughs> pi. <laughs> to the power of... <laughs> The power of the imaginary number. Power of Actually, that's just reminded me of something. Um, in this, I believe it's. Um, <laughs> I believe it's in the comic that I was reading um, in the episode twenty six or sorry twenty seven beginning, but um, it was. It's either in that or it's in the most recent comic. I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I I saw an image of it the other day. Certainly. Um, there's a point in the current multi-issue, multi-comic story Thank of Worlds, World Unite, or whatever it is, what's it called nowadays? World Unite, because it's, it's like a big world fusion yes, plot. Yes, indeed. Um, where, um, spoiler, incidentally, uh, Styx has ended up in the world of Street Fighter and is being in interviewed by Chun Li. And she, she is in sticks. Um, starts going on and trying to explain the situation about how you know it, the the various worlds have come together, and then the, there's there's Mega Man and Sonic and X, and then she sort of looks sort of, sort of has a thinks to herself, Sonic X, and and then proceeds to say something like, Nah, that that, that something like that wouldn't last past three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> which is it's not even it's not even on the air anymore here on yeah in any tv but yeah it, channels it's it's a little bit dangerous to say something like that i think <laughs> when, it's a little bit dangerous to say that over when you've not got a second series yet and your comic is canned <laughs> it's... and the games have been kind of yeah um, incidentally, I believe it is... That's okay, because Sonic Boom! Sonic's face just going, ugh. Yeah, but... Uh, stick... I mean, not with that sound, but... Yeah, but uh, Stick the Badger, Archie, stick the Badger in um, the Sonic Boom comic, actually thinking about Sonic X, and the fact that like, like Sonic, X is a, Sonic and X would be a conspiracy theory. <laughs> Uh, well, it was in the Sonic X comics. Funny, funny stuff, but uh, yeah, um, slight unfortunateness because you know, uh, Sonic Boom comic stopped after eleven issues, I believe it is. Uh, Sonic X comic stopped after forty. So, yeah, you may have lost that round, sticks. And yeah, we're still waiting on that second season <laughs> announcement, which, dear God, they must surely do at this point. I mean, if. The, the ratings, the only reason that they surely wouldn't want to do it was because they'd either be either Sega wouldn't want to do it because, oh my goodness no, the brand, the brand or Cartoon Network get cold feet because everyone's reaction to the brand the brand um, yeah, surely they must like, they got, if, if it's getting the ratings it's getting yeah, like, to and, get one Point five million adult views. Yeah, and I should note this isn't the whole amount of views. Yeah. They were more than likely getting even more. You know, if this is the case, you know, there's, there's no reason why they shouldn't. But you know, this is Sonic, and when has when has sense ever mattered in the <laughs> with the Sonic? <laughs> where, where is common sense and you know where money resides ever? <laughs> ever factored right. into decisions not not to mention it doesn't I'm sure it not only matters whether or not Sega is up for it but it also matters if Cartoon Network agrees yeah. because yeah, because they kind of broadcast it 
Yeah, I mean, so that's the point. But it's, it's either going to be one of those two parties go no, but there must be something desperately wrong with Cartoon Network if they don't want to. Yeah, like it, it's just the show's doing fantastic with ratings. Uh, it's a solid show. Yeah. Like people are still watching. Yeah. And reruns do well. Yeah, even just pure, even just reruns, it, it still does pretty damn decently. Like I seeing it get like maybe around even six hundred thousand views viewers, adult views for just pure ratings. Right when we were in the thick of the hiatus, that's still better than I expected. To be honest. Okay. I think it's better than all of us expected. Yeah, we we should write some sort of letter or something. Uh, uh, take a letter, Donny. Uh, dear Mister and Mrs. C Network, we would uh, like to write to you uh, to um, give our support to the television series currently broadcasting on your network called Sonic Boom. As you um, no doubt have, are aware, you are due to renew this series. And uh, we are interested in knowing your response. You hope you're taking this down, Donny. <laughs> this is important. If this doesn't go off and boom doesn't get renewed, it could possibly be your fault. Now. <laughs> it's not the first time. Now, um, I'm sure you are aware that the ratings have been fantastic for a television show in its time slot. Uh, at least those that have been publicly revealed. Uh, under the circumstances, with it being such a premier show on your network, uh, no doubt you will want to renew it, but for the love of God, can you please hurry up? Because people need to make decisions, and, you know, uh, people need to uh, put co payments down on condos and, and things like that, and, you know, um, Mike Pollock needs to buy a new car. And, and, and things like that so if you could please potentially uh, see your way clear to make this very very soon we would be most grateful uh, your servants love and kisses the uh, Sonic Boom commentary team <laughs> plus associated viewership and Bill Freiberger and his cat okay <laughs> I don't know if Bill Freiberger has a cat incidentally <laughs> we have a cat she's lovely see she makes she makes noises and everything. It's it's it, it's it's a wondrous town. Um, I'll tell you what Bill Freiberger does have, which is a kitchen. <laughs> so insane. Which made which, which made thinking yes, of course he has a kitchen, but the, his kitchen is itself a star. Did you see this? Oh. I did not see his star kitchen. It's, no, um, they. That wasn't what I went. That's so insulting to. What. You said she makes noises and everything. It's a wondrous talent. It's like, oh, thank you. You do. You make all sorts of noises. <laughs> you, 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 do, you do impressions and, and things. What the heck did you think I was saying? <laughs> anyway, Bill Freiberger's Kitchen. There is a reason I mentioned this. Um, because a Bill Freiberger's Kitchen is, is now on TV. Wait, well then, they film apparently um, they filmed a uh, advert for Avengers: Age of Ultron. <laughs> what? Something to do with it in his what? kitchen. <laughs> what? <laughs> kitchen or breakfast bar or, or something. <laughs> but yeah, no, he was he was advertising the fact himself on his, on his social media channels. It's, what? It's, he has yeah, he has a kitchen. And that's, it that's is not part of so there we go it runs what? in the family we're not sure we um he's not confirmed whether or not the kitchen has worked on boom but uh the kitchen was certainly about when he has been working on boom and presumably um the kitchen has probably also worked on batman yeah it is, it is highly likely that his kitchen has worked on batman We're not sure if the kitchen had any involvement in the soundtrack to Sharknado, though, which is... Oh, man. Yeah. At this point, it's going to become Batnado, isn't it? Yeah, quite possibly. Batnado. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna just like Photoshop Batman's face <laughs> over every shark in the movie. <laughs> Actually, Kevin, um, next time I come over, can I just have your copy of Sony Vegas for five minutes? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> to do exactly that, just like... Actually, actually the Freiburger's Kitchen sounds like a, sounds like a little of a lunchtime ki- cooking show, doesn't it? <laughs> Freiburger's <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to Freiburger's Kitchen. Tonight we have a special guest star of uh, Mr. Hugh Laurie. He's here, and we're preparing his favourite meal for him. Uh, yeah, but so that's so now we've got three three Freiburgers involved in Sonic Boom. We've got Bill Freiburger, we've got Sam Freiburger, whose episode is next, according to Donny. Is that right? Um, is it? Let me check to make sure. Yeah. I do believe I I do believe it is tomorrow. The yep. tomorrow show, Sam, yeah, it is. Sam Freiberger's episode tomorrow, so that'll be interesting. Uh, looking forward yep. to seeing that. Actually, it'd be interesting to compare the the styles because obviously Bill's been was he obviously heavily involved in the, the writing for things. But interesting, yep. interesting to compare father and son. Who is superior? Have them fight to the death. No, um, <laughs> no, yes, to, no, no, no. A, 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 a bragging rights, though. Bragging rights. Yeah. Sonic Boom staff death match. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, that's next week. <laughs> next week. And, and that's, the, like, that's like the end of season drawing. <laughs> it's a, it's tomorrow is an episode stuff. where apparently Eggman makes a film about himself. So this is our first Eggman centric episode in weeks. A while. Months, yeah. perhaps. I bet it gets beaten well, no. by. I bet it gets beaten by. Fastidious Beaver getting a football to the groin. No, I, I correct myself. I forgot about Eggman Unplugged. But still. It, but quite actually, quite well, no, in fairness, in fairness, whilst it was Eggman Unplugged, Eggman was missing for a, a large proportion of that episode. So you're not far sure. away. It's just, it says a lot how we're we're getting another Eggman centric episode and I know people love those so yep Me. And anything with plenty of Mike Pollock is, is fine with us yes you're tolerable Mr. Pollock actually one, actually, one thing's about that one <laughs> thing's about that episode was again um, the distinct absence of tails yeah the only time was the only thing there tails was occasional really tails. says yeah, the the only time Tails really says anything is like in the um in the uh, what was it the um Why are we doing this anyway? Yeah. Like when they when they were fighting Eggman and he had launched his minions and all that. Th- he like so I began saying like Snuckles, if you don't, then Eggman's going to make trash collecting a more weekly thing. <laughs> and then Tails is like, Why are we doing this again? <laughs> Yeah, but, again, but apart from that, again, very little in the way of Tales indeed. It's almost yeah, like, like writing for Tales. It's, I, feel, I feel really sad Tales. for the character I, at this point. I, I think the reason Please why love is that. Tales. Tales is lovely. I think the reason why is that at this point, I think there's only so much you could do with Tales because other than the fact that he's nerdy and he's nice, there's. Really, not that much else you could work with compared to everyone else. Yeah, you can you can do all sorts of things with tails. It's not our like job. To, it's not, yeah, but, yeah, but it's not our job to think of those things, though. You have characters. You, you use them. You can't use the same ones all the time. Use we them. know there's tails episodes coming from when stuff's coming, to. and we know that one of the best episodes coming is tail centric, but. Yeah, but if you if you actually look at the amount of dialogue that there the characters is. have had, Tails must be like right down. Tails has probably got less dialogue than Orbot. Oh. Somebody will, somebody somewhere will actually like like time out the amount of time speaking for these characters. I'm pretty confident that they would find that Tails is actually rank would rank below or bot at this point. Oh, um, but sadly, yeah. 
We got a nice little old bot Q-Bot moment in this episode, actually. With, with, egg, with, egg, with them realising that, hey, every time <laughs> Eggman complains, it somehow comes back to them insulting us. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of a jackass, isn't he? Yeah. But then Eggman, Eggman kind of apologised and sort of said, well, it's only because I'm angry. And then proceeded to insult them twice more, of course, which is... Sort of a, a perfect Eggman scene, really. Yeah. yeah, like I'm, I'm very curious to see about what the final fifteen episodes will be like because we don't know what they are at all. Mm. Um, well, we, no, know we know all the way up. We know one of them is. We know no, one well, is we know what two of them are, but we don't know when they're going to show up. Mm. That's the thing. So, I mean, so the two, the two we know about are Cabin Fever and PuppyCon. <laughs> Which has its own musical sting. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we, we we know I apologize. the episode guide all the way up to episode 37, which is Next Top Villain, airing on August 1st. But we don't know when exactly anything else will air. Um, and we don't even know most of the episodes anyway. Mm. Um, we only know of the PuppyCon episode and Cabin Fever, but we don't know when exactly they'll air. So the final 15 episodes are a huge mis- mystery. Um, but I imagine very soon we'll probably start getting information about those episodes. Mm. It's just hard to believe there's only 15 more episodes left after <sighs> this week yep. in, on August, in August 1st. And then they're going to be showing uh, three episodes a day for every day of the week. <laughs> or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, anyway um, back to the case in hand. So I'm attacked by a moth. Sod off. If you want, you want to give an opinion, form your own podcast. Right. Yeah, make your own well, damn podcast. <laughs> it turns out attacked to, by a moth. It, it turns out to challenge Welcome to Night Vale. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> the moth is just that damn good. It was quite amusing to see Octopus back, bot back though. In this episode. Yeah, I still I I didn't know who that robot was at the back. The, Which one? The one that comes in, I think Orbot's riding him. And um, one of the ones that I don't know him either. He's yeah, pretty cool. Just like, who is this? I, I like <laughs> that. I like that Orbot that has the equivalent of a pony. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you know that sounds It would have been nice if he'd actually come through and sort of, sort of going, yeah, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, 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 mule, yeah. No, you, you, you don't call you you, you, call, you call your steed by their name. You don't call them mule. Wow, this moth really wants to be involved in things. <clears throat> okay, okay, give the give them off the mic. I know the mic is big enough. It's gonna get walloped in a minute. If it comes back. <laughs> right, if you hear a sudden bang. Um, That's doff Kevin your, committing murder. Yeah, doff your caps and yeah, play the last post or something. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah. So highlights, Donny. I had to be at the beginning when the mayor was like, "If only someone could save us and show up, so we can begin the story." <laughs> like that was highlight number one for me. And then highlight number two was I think Knuckles just looking around in silence, just like something gonna happen, something gonna happen. Knuck- Knuckles, happening. yeah, Knuckles openly challenging the episode. <laughs> yeah, this whole episode is basically just challenging the episode. <laughs> if if this is now going to be a thing, that Knuckles is a that ca- well, the characters are aware but knuckles that if knuckles is specifically aware of of fourth wall if it's like if, if knuckles suddenly gets a um, a deadpool thing going on and is like aware that he's in the cartoon <laughs> i would be quite happy with that it, but uh, yeah yeah, I, I, I knew, I knew if anything, this would be a, a high, an episode that would be a highlight, and it 
definitely lived up to the hype. It was perhaps one of my favorite episodes so far. Um, if anything, just on the basis of just how... I still love how Sonic and Tails just questioned the whole point of the fight as well. That was another good moment. <laughs> like that, like the funny thing is the whole sh- like the whole series so far, they haven't really done that. Like they've fought Eggman for the most silliest of things, but never really gave it much thought. They finally did that. <laughs> they were finally like, "Why are we doing this again?" <laughs> uh. Oh dear. I love this episode. It, it it was a good one. Cat. One of my favorites. Cat. Good things in the episode. The things that you really liked. Um, what Donny said. You kind of in agreement, huh? Mm. Uh, things that was there anything that you didn't like so much? Mm. It was pretty. Heavy old message, actually, it really wasn't it in that episode? But uh, I think it kind of. I, I think I I think the the message was mostly government should exist, but not with knuckles in charge. <laughs> well, to be fair, that could really go about saying for just about any kind of role mm. that knuckles would be in charge. I I think it probably also says true for most politicians, but. I li- I Don't like- run a circus as Knuckles. I liked Styx's like we're gonna have a revolution, and like regardless we're gonna have regardless of your points we're having a revolution. Um, <laughs> I don't care for I don't care for your fantastic comebacks and your great reasons why. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. Well, Styx mysteriously wants anarchy, but her problem isn't anarchy. Her problem is the current person in charge is Narsal, yeah. which is a good reason to have a revolution. It's um... yeah. I, I think uh, again the point which I made in the commentary, which was that until Knuckles actually was was until people came into his his office and started going, "We're here to stop you," Knuckles was perfectly fine. <laughs> And it was only when that happened that Knuckles was like, fine, I must defend myself by using bureaucracy to, to defend my right to do what I was asked to do. It was... It, it's an interesting thing, because... Knuckles, and then it got a little terrifying, because of the yeah. indication that Knuckles knew what he was doing. Knuckles did know what he was doing. That was the point. Well, at that, there came the point where was he, when he, he was able to quote things. So it's, it's one of those things that Knuckles does take in information, but it just sort of goes a very... Obscure route uh, and doesn't necessarily come out in the right order, but Knuckles does learn things. It's a slightly different way to everyone else. It's yeah, I I, I did you know like that because everyone's very keen to stop Knuckles, but as far as Knuckles is concerned, he's not done anything wrong at that point. I mean, he's just been doing what he was asked to do. And it's the mayor's fault. Ultimately, it's the mayor's fault. And I don't, that's really the one thing that I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that it, it wasn't hammered home enough that it was the mayor's, you know, it was the mayor's responsibility, ultimately. The mayor went and had his fishing trip, came back. Yes, there was chaos in the meantime, and things Suddenly, things everything's are back to normal. I, 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 one thing I, I would like to. to uh, congratulate this episode on is having an end joke that was a complete and proper end joke we've had some weird ones recently For yeah there's been some there's been some episodes that ended weirdly and then others that ended closed nicely door policy. closed door policies button where it ends where it's just like oh he's not here <laughs> it's so out of nowhere in comparison this came to a, a, a really nice spot stop uh, stop now. so yeah there's, there's that aspect of it um, again shame tell wasn't really involved it was sticks had a nice thing going on Ang- I like angry sticks angry sticks is pretty cool I like angry sticks um, yes, yeah, the angry sticks was something we don't see often, hmm. but like 
that was amusing to see as well. We did we do get to see quite furious sticks, but that was a very particularly angry sticks. Hmm. Yeah, that's the side it's of sticks that I like to see more sticks. often. Hmm. It's um, yeah, we've got, uh, the <laughs> threatening to take down Knuckles, Sonic, and their goons. <laughs> like because Sonic was in the broom, so it was his fault as well. <laughs> yeah, that that was good as well. Um, in terms of you know anything out the way, not really. There's there's a couple of little bits here and there. I like the idea that everybody suddenly realised they could get away with every, anything. <laughs> I. I didn't like that Eggman wasn't smart enough to realise that he could just put some put a law through himself and like be <laughs> because that that was almost like the logical the logical step was Eggman finds out about everything that's going on realises that all he needs to do is get a law passed Knuckles passes the law and then Eggman owns the the, the village or something. You see, Knuckles did have a standard. <laughs> talk, when he talked down to David, <laughs> disappoint me, be gone. That was quite a good line reading, <laughs> actually. Actually, um, retcon what I, I, I said earlier. There we go. That was the moment. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, in... Knuckles being grand is the moment. Mm. Uh, episode as a whole. Fantastic tour de force for Travis, I think. Yeah, I, I, I definitely I think it was Travis. a. Travis. Yeah, like I said, the episode definitely was what I had hoped it would be, and it was. It's one of my favorites. I think it's in my. It's, I think it's in the top ten. Uh, maybe I don't know if it would be top five. I want to say it's probably somewhere near it but it's definitely in the top 10 mm. yeah it was definitely top 10 for me but yeah, yeah uh, if you're not sure who we mean by Travis Travis Willingham who is the voice of, of Knuckles in the series and great job yeah, that was, that was, there was some, as Kat said some really nice line rating series and actually also in fairness uh, Roger too I, I liked so Sonic didn't have much to say, but Sonic's Sonic made all of it count. Yeah, uh, like the the reaction to Sticks' accusation was was done really, really well. Uh, yeah, the, uh, Eggman going around the Eggman going around the village and just seeing it in utter utter chaos and disarray. We had more new characters. We had more new NPCs. Who is this? Chap with the hat. <laughs> We've never seen him before. The grandest of hats. Yeah. We've seen the tortoise now a couple of times. The tortoise who was a DJ in one of the episodes. He was in um, Blue with Envy. But we've not really seen him since. We've seen um, Mrs. Wolf. She was there again. And the and the old monkey with the crooked tail, who went woohoo. We've seen him before, but we didn't. We've not seen the the guy with the hat before, to my knowledge. Who else have we not? There was a, somebody else too that we, we've not seen. Um, I think one thing that helped this episode out is because everyone was like going to knuckles. We really got to get a good shot at the villagers, and it's. <laughs> It really made. The, I love it when we see the, the town looks so lively and. <laughs> you just you, you just you just see that and you just look. You think back to the game, where it was just this huge village with nobody in it. <laughs> There's just no life at all to be seen apart from uh, apart from the mayor. And sticks. And the other female character who is still not appeared in this <laughs> that would be like what's her name again it's the Percy Percy Does, it'd be nice, Percy it'd be, where are you nice we heard, we've Bill. heard tell of you well, oh, it's, and there's the, like, the elderly mechanic chap 
There was no, I vaguely another, know who you're talking about. Another specific him. It would be nice to actually if, if Bill can confirm this, if Percy appears in the series at all. Because it, it it was one of the few characters that got like a specific name and was featured. Um, and she was featured specifically in, in the game quite heavily in points. So it would be interesting to know if, if mm. Percy appears and has any role in, in Sonic Boom, the TV series. Because there's, there's definite scope there. Actually, but one of the things I wanted to know was, um, since I'm in a question asking me, what's the name of the army guy? Does he have a name? It will probably be a terrible name. Yeah, I, I, I want it to be like Major Pain or General Nuisance or something like that. General Nuisance would be a fantastic name, actually. <laughs> There you go, you've named the character. I've, I've, okay, I've officially named the character. It's, it's now called, until we're told otherwise, this character is now referred to as General Nuisance. General Nuisance. Yeah. Ma major pain would be a bit too obvious. General Nuisance. Meanwhile, it just started raining where I am. <laughs> uh. I don't know why this is so important, but... You have been blessed. It's the government on their way back from stealing all your water! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, actually, California drought. Hmm. Uh, actually, it's, Except it's, that's not the government, that's big business well, stealing your water. That's a point, though, because this, this was like the first time we didn't really have paranoid sticks. I mean, she was... Other than the government is out to get you. Did she? Did she actually have a government out to? Oh yeah, but that was the way she that did, it was. She did, but this, of yeah, course, wasn't reaction was, to the way that it was done. Was part of the overall, the overall uh, thing and uh, about governments in general. And uh, sticks was specifically representing a part of. Um, she was specifically representing an anarchist view, which was quite notably brought along when somebody tried to drill into her house. Due to that. Not, not her house, um, into her land. This is true, but her house is underneath. Yeah, it's but, a burrow. Yeah, but it was out front and the burrow goes backwards. Oh, okay. And no, I'm used to thinking of burrows as things with tunnels. I mean, the, not like small rooms, frog, not like Hobbit houses. My mic is in the tunnel. the frog the dites. Oh god, they have, they've drilled down and released the Froglodytes. Yes! That's also a from good closed, reaction. If you're not sure what we're talking about, it's the, the, the frogs from closed door policy. Um, you, you should probably be sure who we're talking about yeah. by now. It was like last episode. Oh god. You know, the, the drilling might cause a cave-in, they might lose their brand new coffee table, they'll get all upset, there'll be an uprising, there'll be a civic revolt, and then Knuckles will be old, overthrown and I don't know, hung on a lamppost or something. And then it'll all be because of a, a, a new mall. Also, a new mall? There was an old mall? <laughs> there's barely enough people, there's not enough people there to successfully, you know, have two food shops. Why are they have they built a mall? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to get all the tourism from elsewhere on this island. <laughs> we go get that Gogaba, that Gogaba tourism <laughs> got to go and grab. <laughs> also the pepper. Yeah, we we haven't seen the Gogabas in a while actually. What a shame. I know, what right? What an absolute like, shame. Actually, what are we ever going to do? Actually, that is a point, because the last time we saw the chief, he was trapped under that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he did indeed starve to death. God. <laughs> well, it's fine. He's just going to eat his own foot off. Mm. He'll be fine. He'll probably not be fine. He calls he'll be fine. It's a kid show. No one ever dies in a kid show, apart from those kid shows where people died. Like every episode? 
<laughs> oh, and that's just what I watch. Me meanwhile, that Son of Paradox news guy, he that tweet he made reporting about the uh, boom ratings, he's been getting a lot of retweets and favoritings from it. He's kind of stealing my thunder. That guy. I hate that guy. He's a jerk. I know, right? He's a jerk face. This is why we can't have nice things. He's a jerk-faced baboon. He's probably why the show may not get confirmed for another season. Probably. Probably. <laughs> it's sad I hope, I hope. Yeah, I, I hope he never lets you down, Donny. That's what I'm going to say. Yep. Yep. Anyone else got any thoughts about the episode or um, malls being built or or uh, Nux Barmer Care? Nux Barmer Care. Um, I just was glad to see an episode like this because I was really looking forward to it and it, I'm very glad that we've seen it now. Because <laughs> <laughs> after like months of wondering when this episode is going to air, it aired. And it's an episode that we actually knew would air uh, like early last year, so so it was even in fact even before the cartoon premiere, like when we just found out about it being a thing, and they had uh, announced the rise of lyric and shattered crystal that day, and that's when we found out about the cartoon, and they were giving a few plot synopsis of uh, some upcoming episodes, and Knuckles being mayor was one of them. Hmm. So. It was great. It was great to see that they uh, finally gave us a chance to see the episode, and it turned out better than I expected. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and certainly uh, episode 35 on Thursday, <laughs> because that's another Knuckles episode. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's more than just a Knuckles episode; it's a double Knuckles episode, because there's gonna be two Knuckles in that one. Ooh, fancy. Yep. Actually, it's, it's, before you, um, before we go any further, actually, some good news to impart. Oh. It's funny that you should mention that announcement because one of the people who was actually at that announcement was the Sonic Brand director, who um, was Sonic Brand director uh, David Corliss, who used to work at Sega Europe, um, and, and I worked with him when I was there. Uh, he confirmed today that uh, he's now a dad. Oh, his his, uh, oh. his wife gave birth to a baby daughter. So, congratulations! Congratulations! Um, congratulations! You have now achieved a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw, I saw, I've seen a picture of her. She's 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 beautiful, a beautiful girl. Um, but yeah, so uh, into, but yeah, uh, Dave Calls did an awful, awful, awful lot for you guys in terms of getting Sonic pointing in the right direction and uh, unfortunately with the way things moved around and Sonic essentially shifting Crash. over to America with, with, with Boom and that is one of those people who um, were kind of shown the door I think uh, at Sake Europe as, as a result um, but but yeah no fantastic news looks like he did a lot for the community not necessarily what people Actually, a lot, of, not a lot of people actually are aware of how much he did. Um, it was probably the biggest supporter of Summer of Sonic in Um and yeah, one of the people who was very keen for the community to to have a voice and and get uh, get the brand and uh, the deals that uh, the community uh, deserved. So. Uh, thank you very much for all your service that you that you gave, and um, in, enjoy being a daddy. Yay! Yeah. So it's very nice to end on, I think. Yeah. For now, though, we'll be back. Well, tomorrow, from our point of view. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not sure if this episode, this episode in video form, is going to go up on its own, or it's going to be in a a two part fantastic double bill of, do we even know anymore of, no we don't in, in the event that this is a double <laughs> bill um, you can take this moment to go to the kitchen um, where you will find um, also well, first of all you'll find somebody filming an advert for 
Avengers Age of Ultron, probably. But uh, you can also take some time to get a drink, um, flick for a newspaper, put the kettle on, get some popcorn, come back for, uh, for the next episode. Alternatively, I'm saying this now, but there's not an episode after this, and it really sounds weird. <laughs> but you can just go and go to sonicboom.tv and check out the previous episode commentaries, the pre and post shows. Please uh, put down your comments on the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe to uh, us, to the Sonic Show, to the podcasts, to our Twitter accounts, to everything basically. Subscribe to our lives. We're very interesting people. Honest to God, we are. For now, bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Has the curtain gone down yet? No. Alright. No. It'll go down when you end the recording. Have you yeah. ended the recording? This is true. No. Not yet. I was waiting I was waiting for the fire curtain to go down. Signalling that everyone can, you know, go and get their stuff and the lights will go up and, and everything. No? Oh. Um. <laughs> oh well. What are you guys still doing here? Go!